Caleb Tejada, who did not play in the first half. It's one of the best runs of the high school football season. You know, my hands on the ball and I just kept pumping my legs. Grapevine senior Caleb Tejada breaking eight tackles en route to a 53-yard touchdown. The number one play on Caleb's recruiting highlight reel is even more remarkable when you know the story behind it. He was going to come out of that hospital just like Caleb made it through all those tackles. Principles of God. Ricky Tejada was a beloved senior pastor at Covenant Church, a devoted husband to Sid and father to Seth and Caleb. Yeah, he was my biggest supporter. Ricky was hospitalized in August with a severe case of COVID-19, and due to protocols, Caleb was unable to see his father in the hospital. Not until one Friday night, the night of Grapevine's season opener. Around like the end of the warm-ups, uh, my coach called me over and he said, hey, uh, they're about to do a procedure on your dad. He might not make it. Caleb skipped the first half to visit with his father. Um, talked to his dad even though he was not responsive. He came out and he knelt down. He said, Mom, he said, I really want to go back and help my team. And so Caleb showed up at halftime with his dad on his mind and in his heart as he ran for more than 100 yards in just the second half. And he got into that end zone with that touchdown. I believed his dad was going to come through. We believed it. Ricky Tejada passed away the following Monday due to COVID complications. His, his family, Tejada, as we always say, is that we're going to press through. We're not going to quit. We're not going to give up. A family full of faith and power to press forward the way Ricky would want. In Colleyville, I'm Jonah Javad.